Uh, we're going to be doing problem 7 from fundamentals of chapter 12. Um, so let's just get into it. So we're given a particle moving along a straight line. So it's pretty much that's what we've been dealing with this whole time. Um, and they give us the acceleration function with respect to time. So that's, a, that's good news. Um, you know, it's not with respect to position or anything else. It's just with respect to time. And they tell you when t equals zero, the particle is located two meters to the left of the origin. So we know the origin, right, for those, or I guess this is time, and this is position, let's say, right? Origins right here, or I guess in the x, could also be in the x, y, x, y. So it's in the origin, and it's two meters to the left. Okay, so it's at negative two meters. All right, so at t equals zero, s equals minus two, and then when t equals two, it is 20 meters to the left of the origin. So t equals two, the position is 20 meters to the left, so minus 20. Okay, determine the position of the particle when t equals four. So this is what we're trying to get, s at 4 equals what? All right, so we know with when we're given acceleration, in order to work our way back to position, we have to integrate twice, right? Because we know a is dv dt, right? Which is just two time derivatives of the position, okay? So let's start here, okay? So we have uh, 4 t squared minus 2 on the left hand side and then dv dt right dv dt and then we're just going to integrate both sides and this will be dv and we'll just do indeterminate you know um, integrals so we're going to have 4t cubed over 3 minus 2t plus some constant c1 v okay we're gonna do this one more time you know this is ds dt right so let's put it up here so we integrate uh, everything on the left hand side once so we're gonna get um, let's just draw it out so actually let's just write it all out 4t cubed over 3 minus 2t plus c1 dt equals ds. Okay, and another indeterminate integral. So we have 4t to the fourth. And the reason I'm doing that is so we can just get rid of those fours. Minus 2t squared over 2. Integral of a constant will just be c1t then plus c2 and then s on this side right so technically you're gonna have you know there's two constant on each side but you group them together to just make one giant constant right all right so let's um the next thing we'll let's just eliminate some of these things so we have uh, s let's just write it down nicely so we have t to the fourth over 3 minus t squared plus c1 t plus c2 all right and then now we're given those two these two um, uh, conditions that we have to meet so at t equals 0 uh, s equals negative 2 all right so minus 2 that'll be 0 0 0 so C2, or constant C2, is equal to negative 2. All right, so now when we write the function again, the position function, we have S equals T to the fourth divided by 3, T squared plus C1T minus 2. Okay? And then we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to plug in at T equals 2. This is equal to negative 20. All right? So let's let's jump to the top here since we're almost done. 
so minus 20 is 2 to the fourth divided by 3 minus 2 squared plus c1 times 2 minus 2 and that's all equal to negative 20 from this we should get c1 is equal to negative 9.66 roughly okay now we have our total equation total position function which is going to be t to the fourth over 3 minus t squared minus 9.66 t minus 2 all right so now we have our actual function written down right and now we just want to get uh, the position of the particle when t equals 4 so we're just going to plug in 4 wherever you see a t right and we should end up getting about 28.69 uh, meters okay and that's a positive number so it's going to be to the right of the origin okay all right guys um, that's all for this problem um, if you enjoyed it you have questions just comment down below and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video thanks guys